Hello, today I'm talking about one of my treatments and it's one of the ones I absolutely love doing and it's called ear candling. And no, it is not talking about putting one of these candles into your ear and setting fire. It is using one of these. It is made of linen, which is dunked into beeswax and honey and St John's wort, chamomile and sage and then rolled up into this shape. It's approximately a foot long. One end sits into your ear canal and the other end is lit and we have a thing called a chimney effect and it works by the effect of the smoke and the heat and the warmth coming down the candle. It reverberates in your ear, hits the ear canal, warms it up and it's the warmth that vibrates via the ear canal all along your eustachian tube and up to the back of your sinuses. So, as I said, it's got chamomile, sage and St John's wort in, so it's got all the wonderful healing benefits of chamomile, which is <clears throat> for, for relaxation. It's got sage in, which is an antispasmodic, and it's got St John's wort, which is for relaxation. What are the benefits? Well, the benefits are for anything, if you've got any blockages of your eustachian tube, if you've got any problems with your sinuses, if you suffer headaches or migraines, if you fly a lot and you have problems with your ears popping, it can help relieve that. It can help soften any earwax, so if you've got a blockage of earwax, it doesn't remove the earwax because earwax is too heavy to come up the candle. So what it does, it softens and then you can remove the earwax. So what do we do? You are lying on a couch with your ear up to one side and when you're ready, I do this and now you can see why it's called an, a candle because it looks just like a candle. So we got your ear canal and it literally sits about a millimetre, literally. It's not going right into your ear, it just literally sits. And I hold it very firmly and my hand is over your ear so you will not get burned. And if you have a look, there is a lovely red mark there. This red mark is our burn down. We do not burn it in the candle any further than that. Usually me, I burn it down to a centimetre above for safety reasons because I don't want to get burnt because my hands are there. So it is very safe. And then once it's burnt down to either a centimetre or down to the red line, it may take about eight minutes when I then tell you I'm going to remove it and I just literally lift it up and it's only lifting about a millimetre. I hold one hand over your ear and I place the candle into water because it needs to be put out and then I place it down and then I return my other hand to your ear. What do you hear while it's in your candle? Well, it's like imagining you're sitting in front of a roaring fire in a lovely country pub on a cold winter's day. You just hear the sound of the crackling and the hissing of the flames and some people find it very, very relaxing. Once I have removed the candle from the ear, I then very gently massage around the ear because the ear is the shape of a curled up human body. So as you're massaging the ear, the whole person is gonna get a whole body massage. And then we turn you over, we do the other ear. So it's a balancing treatment because both ears are done. So you're getting balanced. So both sides of your sinuses are cleared and both ears are relaxed. Then once you've done that, you will lie there for at least 10 minutes and during those 10 minutes 
I will do a healing session for you. This could be healing with either a facial massage or a combination of facial massage and Reiki or can be used with crystals or other essential oils but I like to combine it with a holistic treatment so you get the ear candling and then a 10 to 15 minutes healing session as well. Then when you sit up slowly you will take a glass of water. This will enable you to swallow and it just opens up your eustachian tubes and everything will flow smoothly. Are there any contraindications? Not really, but only if you have a common sense. If you have a perforated eardrum, if you've got grommets in your ear, if you've got a current ear infection, or if you've had an operation in the previous three months on the ear, you cannot have a treatment. The reason being is that an inflammation of the ear could be irritated by the warmth. If you've got a perforated eardrum, anything could go into your sinus, into your eustachian tube. The other contraindications are, of course, if you're allergic to chamomile, sage or St John's wort. But apart from that, it's perfectly safe. I have had clients from the young age of five and my oldest client has been 78. So if you're interested or want any more details, please do not hesitate to give me a call or message me and hopefully we'll be able to help you with any questions or queries. Catch you all later. Take care.